Hello, I'm Mrs. Lowergen and I'm going to be teaching today's lesson. Last lesson, I know that you had to find out what you could buy with different sets of clients from the shop. And Mrs. Harris set a practice activity asking you to work out what you could buy with the coins in your purse. But not all the coins were the same. So let's take a look at how we can work it out. This was your practice activity and you had to find out what you could buy using these coins in your purse. So what did you notice? That's right, we had some 5p's and a 10p coin. Let's start by finding out how many coins we have in our purse all together. Right, so let's work out how many coins we have. So we have one five penny, two five pennies, three five pennies, four five pennies, and a 10p coin. So there are five coins all together. Can you say that sentence for me? Fabulous. There are five coins. Okay, now we know that there are five coins all together in our purse. But we need to remember that the coins have a different value. So we need to work out how many coins are 5p coins and how many coins are 10p coins. What do you think we could do? That's right, we could group them. So I'm going to group all my 5p coins together. Okay, and then I know that four coins have a value of 5p. Can you say that sentence for me? Great, well done. Now I need to work out how many coins have a value of 10p. So again, yes, I'm going to group my coins like so. So now I can say that one coin has a value of 10p. Can you repeat that sentence for me? Great. So let's say these three sentences together. There are five coins. Four coins have a value of 5p. One coin has a value of 10p. Super. Now we have grouped our coins together, I'm going to use the part, part, whole model. Now it's really important to remember that the purse is the whole. So the amount of money that we have in the purse is the whole. So in one part, I'm going to put in the, the group of 5p coins. And in the other part, I'm going to put in the 10p coin. So in the group that's got the 5p coins, I'm going to skip count because I know we are very good at skip counting. I'm going to skip count in fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20. So in this part here, I know we have 20p. In this part, I know I have 10p. So all together in my whole, I have 20p and 10p, which makes 30p. Let's have a look at it using a number line. So we have the number line and I'm going to start by counting in fives. So we have one jump of five, which represents one five penny. Two jumps of five, which represents two five pennies. Three jumps of five, which represents three five pennies. And four jumps of five, which represents four five pennies. And we know that when we skip counting fives, we know that we can say five, 10, 15, 20. Now we have to add our 10p coin. So I'm going to jump 10 on my number line. And the 10 represents the one 10p coin. And there's my total, 30p. 
Okay, so this has been shown using the number line. So let's go back to the original question. What could you buy with the coins in this purse? Now we know we've got 30p in our purse. Could we buy the dinosaur? No, that's right, we can't buy the dinosaur, can we? Because the dinosaur costs 90p and we only have 30p. Oh. What about the teddy bear? Do we have enough money in our purse to buy the teddy bear? That's right, we do have enough money in our purse to buy the teddy bear because the teddy bear costs 9p and we have 30p in our purse. Well done. What about the aeroplane? Do we have enough money in our purse to buy the aeroplane? No, we don't. Because the aeroplane costs 45p and we only have 30p in our purse. What about the drum? Do we have enough money in our purse to buy the drum? Yes, that's right. We do have enough money in our purse to buy the drum because the drum costs 18p and we know that we've got 30p in our purse. So you're right, we can buy the drum. Can we buy the boat? Yes, we can buy the boat because the boat costs 30p and we've got 30p in our purse. Fabulous, well done. Right, let's have another practice. You've got to work out what you could buy with the coins in this purse. Now this purse looks a little bit different to the last purse. So let's go through the steps again, like we did at the beginning, to work out how much money we have in our purse. Who can remember what was the first thing we needed to do? That's right, we needed to work out how many coins we have in our purse. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. So let's say the sentence, there are five coins. Can you say that sentence? Fabulous, well done. Can you remember what we could do next? Now we know we've got five coins in our purse, but they're not all the same coins, are they? So what could we do? That's right, we can group them together. So let's group all our 10p coins together. So there we go, I am grouping my 10p coins. So how many 10p coins do I have? That's right, four coins have a value of 10p. Fabulous. And now we need to group our 5p coin. So how many 5p coins do we have? Great, we have one coin and it has a value of 5p. Let's say those three sentences together. There are five coins. Four coins have a value of 10p. One coin has a value of 5p. Can you say those three sentences on your own now? Super, well done. Now we've grouped the coins together, I'm going to use my part, part, whole. Remember, the whole is the purse, so it's how much we have in our purse. So let's put the first group of coins in the first part. And this time, instead of skip counting in fives, I'm skip counting in tens. Why do you think I will be skip counting in tens? That's right, because we have 10p coins. So I'm going to count 10, 20, 30, 40. So in this part, I have 40p. And in the other part, I have one 5p coin. So I have 40p and 5p. Let's use our number line 
to work out the total amount of coins in our purse. Okay, so my number line. Now I'm going to make one jump of 10 to represent my one 10 P. Now I'm going to do another jump of 10. And this time I'm instead, I'm going to start counting in tens. I'm going to skip counting tens. So I've got 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's my four 10p coins. And then I need to remember I've got one 5p coin. So my total amount in my purse is 45p. Well done. So let's go back to the question to see what we can buy with our 45p. Okay, so we know that we've got 45p in our purse. So let's see what we can buy. Can we buy the dinosaur? No, we can't buy the dinosaur. Why can't we buy the dinosaur? That's right, we don't have enough money because the dinosaur costs 90p and we only have 45p. Could we buy the teddy bear? Yes. Why can we buy the teddy bear? How do you know we can buy the teddy bear? That's right, because the teddy bear costs 9p and we have 45p in our purse. Well done. Can we buy the aeroplane? We can. We can buy the aeroplane because the aeroplane costs 45p and we have 45p in our purse. Well done. What about the drum? Can we buy the drum? We can buy the drum. We can buy the drum because the drum costs 18p and we have 45p in our purse. So yes, we've got enough money to buy the drum. And what about the boat? Do we have enough money in our purse to buy the boat? Yes, we do, because the boat costs 30p and we have 45p. Wow, you are amazing at this. Well done. OK, this is a really tricky one. This is one to do on your own. You might want to pause the video while you go through the steps of working out how many coins are in your purse, working out what the value of the coins are, maybe grouping them together. You might want to put them into a part, part, whole, or just put them on a number line. But this is your opportunity now to have a practice, to work out how much is in your purse and what you can buy with these coins in your purse. OK, so today's practice activity is to use the two purses at the top. They both have different amounts in them. But it's your job to choose which coins you use. So you might want to use a 10p coin or a 2p coin. It's entirely up to you. But what I want you to do is I want you to show me how you've made that amount. So you might want to use the part part whole model or the number line that we've been using before. You might want to go through the steps to show me how you've got 28p or 55p, but that's something that we can go over next time, okay? Fabulous work today, well done. It's been an absolute pleasure. You've all worked really hard and I will see you soon. Bye.